The Big Bang Theory is a misnomer. Uh, what we call the Big Bang Theory scientifically really says nothing whatever about what banged, why it banged, or what happened before it banged. Uh, it really <laughs> says nothing about the bang. It's a story, uh, the classic Big Bang Theory is the story of the aftermath of a bang. And inflation is basically the proposal that the bang of the Big Bang, the driving force behind the expansion, was this repulsive gravity as allowed by general relativity. And can I just ask you, so the math of both the Big Bang and the way sort of Einstein presents how the universe works suggests that at high energy states, the gravity that we understand becomes an explosive force pushing outward rather than pulling inward. That's right. And in fact, the total energy of our universe is completely consistent with adding up to zero. And as far as we can tell, the total energy of the universe is consistent with being exactly zero, with the cancellation of these positive and negative contributions. And that's very important, especially to this idea of a multiverse, because it means that you can produce universes for free. Uh, it costs nothing to produce a universe. The universe is, in some sense, uh, a phrase I like to use is that's the ultimate free lunch. <laughs>